welcome to Shrinking with Carrie. It's way in Wednesday, friends, because the frickin' torture never ends. <laughs> Let's go to the tote board. Drum roll. Bing! 222.6. That's a 10 pound weight loss. I know I should be really happy, and I am. But consider this. This is one of those mornings, and as you could tell, I just rolled out of bed. I'm still having my coffee and singing to myself. Um, it's one of those days where I feel like I have really far to go to just be fat. Like I'm, I'm trudging my way out of the obese forest, just trying to get to fat town. <laughs> just want to be real. So what I'm getting at is this requires patience. It really does. When the numbers go down, you feel great, but you also recognize that it's the beginning of the journey. And what I like to do, and this is what I did when I lost 59 pounds, is treat this as um, just a 10 pound thing. What if the goal was 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds? The thing I'm struggling with this morning is not the physical, it's the emotional. It's feeling that, that this blah feeling of, well, what if nothing helps me feel better? What if I just still look terrible? Because I haven't felt attractive in decades. Like, <laughs> and I want to feel good about myself. I want, you know, my dental work. I want, you know, better hair. And I don't know. I just want to look at my face thinner. I'd love to get this turkey neck nipped and tucked. The whole thing. But that's vanity. Really, I just feel, um, I think I, I had went through this before and that's why I wished I would have vlogged so I could have referred to these moments in the beginning. What's happening is my relationship with food is changing and I'm going through this sort of dysthymic thing where uh, I feel like I've lost my worst enemy but also my best friend. So... There's a part of me that wants to go eat a box of Twinkies or something. I'm not going to do that because I want to live. It's not just about weight loss. And, oh, I forgot to take a picture of my sugar. My sugar is down over 100 points. That's huge. I mean, my goal is in six months, roughly six months, to be able to go get an A1C around my 52nd birthday, which is February 1st, and have my doctor, she's a nurse practitioner, just have her be floored by the changes I've made. I'm not going to see her before then. So I want her to see me completely transformed and healthy, a patient who listened and did everything they were supposed to do. Because really, with diabetes, that is the cure. Yourself is the cure. So I, I think I need this conversation this morning. I'm slowly pepping myself up. <laughs> I did some stretches. That's what I do first when I wake up. I have a yoga mat. And I'd really like to get more into yoga. I think I might join a yoga gym club thing or whatever. Because every time I see people coming out of there, their skin is glowing. My skin, this is no makeup, it has improved. My skin is vastly improved. I almost feel like I turned back the clock. I'm starting to get with the weight loss. You can see there's a little jolly droopiness that I'm getting. That's okay. We'll deal with all of that and it's time. You know, some stuff, your skin over time will become more elastic. A lot of people worry about getting loose skin at my age. It's it's definitely a concern, but I feel like I come from pretty sturdy peasant stock and I'm still kind of elastic. I'm not that squishy. Definitely squishier than I used to be, though, and I don't like that, particularly behind the arms, of course. But, you know, like your skin gets loose. That is still from my... I was doing a swatch yesterday and that hasn't come off. That's how incredible it is. I unboxed a bunch of stuff that I'm going to put on my Patreon, which I will link below, which might seem kind of weird because this is a brand new channel and I have one Patreon from my nosy housefrau. I really debated putting these two channels together. Um, I went back and forth, back and forth, and my son said, leave it all on one channel. And I listened to him a lot of the time, but this time I vetoed. I said, you know what? I feel it's important to partition these two things because people come to your channel for one thing, 
they come for drama, they don't want to hear about weight loss. If they come for weight loss, they may not want to hear about drama. But hopefully both channels will include people who enjoy beauty because I am going to do makeup reviews on this channel or product reviews. I'm going to share with you some recipes. I need to put a picture up. This was something I made the night before last. It was really good, um, low calorie. It was a, a Korean style lettuce wrap that I made with ground turkey, cilantro, cashews. Fantastic. I didn't have onions. I do now, but I didn't at the time, and I would have liked to have added a little bit of onion. Um, but it was just lettuce wraps, and I had two of them, and I put, I did use rice. I do very well with rice. I don't do well with pastas. So most of my dishes are going to be largely, um, you know, uh, rice dishes. Those are That's what I like when I get heartier food. I stay away from pastas and things that turn to sugar in the blood, like breads. And uh, I, I will have uh, an Ezekiel muffin in the morning. I can have one of those, but usually, uh, like this morning, I was not hungry, so I ate half a banana. I haven't been up very long, and I, it takes me a little while to get my appetite, but I like to stay ahead of hunger, so I will have something. If I don't eat something right away, I get nauseous. Mm, excuse me. So I'll start sharing those numbers. My, um, my sugar is still over 200, and that's too high but that's a heck of a lot better than 470. Uh, it's it's a, a slow process and it is one day at a time. So I just remind myself, if I feel impatient about the weight loss, it will come. And really what's so important is the sugar, you know, and not every day you're gonna feel gung-ho about this. And those are the days that I call a push. If you have not had the right sleep, which thankfully I finally did last night, the night before I did not, if you don't have the right sleep, you can you can have what's called a push, whereas you're still gonna eat properly. You're just gonna take a break from a lot of your responsibilities if you can and uh, and not worry. You know, if, if, you, if you feel really exhausted and you didn't get enough sleep, leave the dishes in the sink. You'll get them tomorrow. It's okay. Tomorrow's another day. That There are times when it's not just a good idea to procrastinate, it's necessary. And we do a lot of shaming about procrastination. It's okay, you know, Irma Bombeck used to say, the world won't go into a holding pattern if you're down for the day. And that's true with exhaustion, that's true. I think a lot of people who are spoonies or the chronically ill or fatigued, they get it, that you have to come to a point where you forgive yourself for the lack of energy, where you accept that this is the new normal for you and that you have to get through the day the way that you can. So it is looking to be sunny. I wonder if it's going to be hot today because I'd like to take a walk and take the camera to Wildwood. I had some trouble finding my uh, camera charger. I'm starting to misplace things. And I was worried about that. Part of me while I check the weather. 71 in Toledo. What's it going to go up to? It's only, it's going to go up to 74. This is a gorgeous day for a walk, so we're definitely going to go to the park, Wildwood, and look at the flowers and walk through the park. I'm excited about it. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little motivated. I'm like an old car. It takes me a while to get started. <laughs> but once I do, I'm great. I'm reliable. <laughs> so, basically, where was I going with that? Yeah, this is a great day to go walking. And yesterday was a day where I had to forgive myself for not doing everything I wanted to get done. I have a chore buddy. We talk to each other online every day and just to, just to tell each other what we got done, it gives us motivation to go, hey, I did this, I did the tub, I did. I wanna take the camera into my bathroom, but I'm in the process of painting my bathroom. There's a little bit of paint on the floor that I'm embarrassed about. So <laughs> uh, I left it, I didn't finish it. I have all the tape up. I had put, I did, even though I have a paint with a primer in it, I did put some primer on it because I was painting the white part above my tub anyway and the ceiling. So I went and did ahead and did that. So everything is prepped to be painted, but I just didn't have the energy yesterday. I'm like, nobody's coming to visit. What's gonna happen if this stays here another day? It's okay, I can live with it. It's not unlivable. We have a bathroom downstairs, so uh, what's gonna happen? Uh, I still have the towel from yesterday. Yesterday I was trying to get myself to take a shower and I didn't. I just put it off. I was like, oh, just lay in my own filth. So now I have to clean the bedding, me, everything. I'm going to go and get on the shtick and uh, get myself cleaned up, ready, and prepare ahead. Today's lunch, I think, is going to be tuna lettuce wraps. I really am into the lettuce wraps, and I bought all kinds, like the long 
leafy lettuce I bought the red colorful kind and I bought the green kind and I love it at this time of year it's just wonderful to have something like that with a little fruit maybe or I have my cashews set to the side. I'm, I bought a bunch of raisins, so I'm going to bag up and portion some trail mix to take with me on my walk today. And I really look forward to it. I hope everybody will join me and I'll have another video for you in more detail. I'm gonna to try to keep these a little bit shorter. My first uh, couple of videos on this channel had to cover a lot of ground, so uh, I appreciate this casual laid back style of vlogging. And yet I'm going to try and be a little more structured and focus on certain topics like today's was I guess if it had a theme it would be uh, giving yourself permission to procrastinate <laughs> and getting through the blahs of the plateaus and the, the blahs of weight loss and all of the things that come along with it when we find those moments where we just need to breathe. So if you've watched this far I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm wishing everybody luck with your goals. Can't wait to hear updates on all of your stories and how you're doing and how you're getting through the day. Take good care of yourself. Don't forget to breathe. See you next time.